just completed the first fill up on the manual Messiago. Now look, I know I kind of snaked you guys in the last video. I didn't tell you what cars are sold. That's what this video is all about. And honestly, I'm, it, I'm nervous to tell you guys what cars are sold because I know it doesn't really matter what cars I sell. I know you guys are invested in all of them. So I don't want to disappoint you guys. So I figured I'd pick up Dave and we could do it together. And the cars are being delivered to August today. So it's a full reveal. Don't go anywhere. Oh, there he is, there he is. I'm surprised he's not behind uh, making coffees or something, showing everybody how it's done at the box. Taking it back to 2003. What's up, boss? How are you? I'm great, how are you? There's so much armor on these seats, I slid right in. <laughs> armor. I'm joking. Armor is the worst, I don't know what's on them. The leather is, under, is in great condition in this vehicle. Unless you wanna, you wanna go through the drive through the wrong way and I, see what you kind know, of- You know how the balls to do that. See what kind of trouble we get in? 2003 came with that on it. So, we're revealing to these guys today the two cars that are being brought by Carlos from the HQ in their R truck and trailer to August to be sold in order for this to have happened. Currently our debt to income ratio is a little out of whack. You don't say. <laughs> it's funny how that works. Hey, 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 hey. how's that for timing? I'm we did not plan this. Did not plan this. I'm that getting, is hilarious. That is crazy. Look at this, 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 look at this. We got oh. Carlos in the truck and trailer. Well, over here, not that. That's not our truck. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm, so exci I'm so excited. No, I'm, in, no, 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 I'm six. in six. You don't want six. Hold on, the power. Where's the power? Where's the power? You want to get number two. Okay, hold on. Let's go down to number two. Uh, Carlos is literally just rolling by. That's we did hilarious. Not, we did not plan this. We didn't. I promise you, we did not plan this. And he drove not straight, but from California. And there's a whole other border. We'll get to that later. But in the meantime, yeah, he got stuck at the. Yeah, border. we'll get to that later. We'll get to that later. We have enough drama right now. But there's a truck and trailer. Did he do any more damage on it? I Inspect don't know. It. Inspect it. Hold on. Uh, I see a scrape there. I don't think that was. Did new tires? No, no. I see a dent there. Hey. Yeah, buddy. Dude, we did not plan that, did we? Did it. You're ahead of schedule, bro. We made it. You're a beast. How much more damage have you done to our truck? <laughs> oh no, a little bit. Dude, hilarious. So, in there, two cars. Two cars. All right. Well, uh, you know what, Carlos, you're no match, even with the 3500. Oh, 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 we oh, are bad. Og luxury. Og luxury. Bro, bro. Oh, why do you tease me in the middle of mercy? Dude. That thing is sick. By the way, I drove this. I got this as the loaner. The Defender? Yeah, for a couple days. It's actually really cool. And they're only 90 grand. Now, I'm trying to talk the wife into taking one of those instead of the G-Wagon. Save some money. What do you think the odds are? Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. G-Wagon oh. values. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you gotta jump out. Carlos is here. Oh my God, I'm ready for this. And I gotta do the old school Mercedes <laughs> Lamborghini backup Hold on, trick. I'm getting out, I'm getting out, I'm getting out. If it happening quick here, you guys. And this is like the old uh, Valentino Balboni trick. It's about 1,400, 1,500 miles from our shop in Huntington Beach here in August. And Carlos was a homie and he punted it straight across. He had problems with the border. I ain't get a lot of details, but we'll find out from him in a minute. It's probably his shady past. So beautiful and hot and warm out. How much do you love that car? It's honestly, it's the best thing ever. I'd give up every car for that car. Would that you is, really? That's the one car that if it was like, you have to choose, you get one car, that's the car. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And then my old love, my old baby. Now now listen, when I see this car, it makes me, I want to buy this car back. We can't afford anything else. So we'd have to sell You get rid cars. of your wife's shoe wagon. Yes, she gets this, I get another car. <laughs> ho ho. Uh, I'd be single again. By the way, Mike's driving that crazy 720 over there. The pops, the bangs are ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's his personality. Okay. This does look really good on blue Cepheus. Like, oh, I love it. I do miss this car. It was built really nice. Yo. And our truck. All I want to know is how much damage have you done? Bro. Don't lie to me. Hey, did you pay for that shirt, by the way? Don't lie to me. It's coming off your paycheck. With blood, sweat, and tears. How much damage? Well, we tried to keep it to a minimum this time. So Come good here. to see you. Come here. <laughs> Good to here see you. Bring it in. Girl. Bring it in, buddy. Uh, how's the truck, trailer? Everything's obviously good, eh? Runs smooth. Everything, yeah. Everything's perfect. Everything's awesome except for the check engine lights randomly getting thrown on the truck, yeah. 
Yeah, the why, truck's brand why, new. Why, why, why is it when you own the truck and trailer, right? Yeah. No issues. We buy the truck and trailer yeah. off you and all of a sudden you just hit whatever you want on the freeway. Trucks throwing check engine lights. No, I think it has to do with you. You're taking free merch. Tense. No, it's you. I think it's actually you. Oh, it's me. It's not It's not a me thing. Let me get closer to him. All right, cool. You want to take this out? You want to settle this here? Parking lot style? Like Lego. You want to show all the young kids how it's actually done? Yeah. Actually, our our generation? Generation? actually solve stuff? In BC. Wham! <laughs> <laughs> Assault. Carlos, Carlos, sleeping. <laughs> Carlos wakes up sleeping That's on the hood of the yeah, Corvette. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Let's go look at it. So, we're so pumped because didn't deliver on saying I was going to tell these guys what cars we sold. I told them we were going to wait till Carlos got here. I don't know if you know this. I haven't talked to you, actually. In I haven't talked to you since minute. before you went to Gumball. So, check this out. Yeah. That Mercia log over there. Mm -hmm. See the gray one? I do. Yeah. That's my new baby. Yes. That's the replacement. Yeah. It's a non-LP, but I don't care. Manual, gated. In my opinion, the best supercar on the planet. The bank declined our lease on the car. <laughs> Dude. So the bank declines our lease. We have the down payment, everything's good to go, but it's because of the current economic status. Just like with homes, they want to stress test you. So they want to know that if, let's say the payment on that car is $6,000 a month, yeah. they want to know that you can afford a $12,000 a month payment in case the interest rates double. That's what's going on? That's what's going on. We got declined, but we do have a solution for you. If you get rid of enough cars to make up the value of that car or close to it, we'll give you the car. So I had to figure out what cars to sell. These guys are waiting to find out what's in the trailer. So let's go open the trailer and this let's show a, them. Let's this open is a the surprise trailer. to me too though. So. so that's why they're coming to August and they're not like going to my house or something okay, like that. Here we go. So I have a garage with two beautiful Ben Pack lifts that don't lift anything. And it has a huge Lamborghini sign thanks to Matt August. So so I think I need to start collecting more Lamborghinis considering I'm the number one Lamborghini ambassador in the world. Oh, there we go. The there truth is, with one car, technically I have Lamborghini race car, yeah. Super Trofeo Evo yeah. 2, LP 580 2 that's been converted into a street Evo with a VF engineering supercharger, SVJ in London, which by the way, I have a huge update on that. I'll get to that in a little bit. Absolute nightmare. You won't, you won't even believe this. Car stuck in London, basically. And then the now Murcielago. So four of the best Lamborghinis ever made. I have the Squadra Corsa to put on and top of that. I have the Squadra Corsa to put on top of so that. So we're really killing the game for Lamborghini. Killing the game. When you think about it, like, I don't think there's anybody in the Lamborghini game that can come close to us. You do your thing. Thank you. Let's go, bud. Billionaire Mike Hall. Oh, Billionaire Mike Hall. Oh my gosh, look at this. I'm going to take this check for three point. Oh. I'm going to take this check for $3.3 .3 million. I could use that right about now. Sorry, Sherry. That would help out the bank loans, hey? You haven't been here for a minute, have you? Uh, look how sick this thing was. Well, last time I was here was when we revealed the Mercedes logo that I bought for you, but apparently didn't do my math on the bank loan. Are you free? Can you come outside? The two cars have arrived that we, that we will be giving to you to finish the paperwork and get the shipping stuff sorted out because, as you know, that one, we haven't said yet, one of them is going halfway across the world and it looks like we might be going with the car to do a All personal in-person delivery. You Would you in. like to come? Yes, no. I've already negotiated. Okay, listen, I'm not joking. No, it's I already flight. done. Just so you know, just so <laughs> you know. Short flight. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, cut that out. Jesus. I don't know. Just so you know, this is the largest non-English speaking DD demographic country. That's kind of cool. It's cool. And we are going to be launching a full DD merch collection just for this part of the world. That's so really it's, cool. it's a big deal. So That's a big deal. we're really excited. We have a partner over there and all sorts of stuff. So we're trying to work that out. I will reveal when the car comes out I'm of the trailer. I'm excited to see these cars. Let's Come on. Go. Let's, let's go. go see the cars. Oh yeah, you haven't seen them. <laughs> I haven't seen them. Since we did all the work to them. No. A lot of work. When I was in LA, we just destroyed cars. <laughs> we didn't actually get to see any Shut or your drive mouth. any. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I haven't shown it. Hold on. <coughs> Why is that here? Why is that here? Yeah. Why is that here? Why are... Did you f up, Carlos? Carlos, can I ask you a question for a second? Show them, because it's... Can I ask you a question for a second? Why is the 599 here? Because, uh, now, dude, what happened to the 599? Um, yeah, that's a good question. Oh, no, seriously, why, why is the 599? Why here? is the bumper wolf? Yeah, why first of all, why is this car here? There's a lot of questions. You going got on. the wrong car. This is the 599. Yeah, you was that's the wrong car. You got the wrong car. That's the wrong car, dude. Are you guys serious? You're off yeah, by serious. two digits. This is, not, <laughs> this is not the car that you're supposed to drive. <laughs> this is not the car. Why is this car here? Did you say this up or for real? No, dead serious. This car is. 
not for sale. And it's not the car that's they're supposed to be taking and doing the shipping and the, all that sort of this stuff. This is my car. Because the other car that we sold is going, is going, ha is going halfway across the world. This is not the car that's leaving. Well, my wife and I were kind of wondering why uh, you were selling this after it was such a new no, car. This car's not no, for this sale. car's not going anywhere. <laughs> Dave just gated it. By the way, it's cool. Now you can check out the gated 599. <laughs> it's perfect. I really want to see the one in front. Was this right. supposed to come too? Why the f is that here? Dude, <laughs> what? What? Who told you to bring these two cars? Are you, are you joking? I, I honestly oh hope God. that you guys are joking with me. Is there a second yeah, yeah, yeah. So listen, is listen. Truck in front of here is the Evo 2, which isn't supposed to be here until basically a the month. end of the end of August, early September, because it's only going to the track day, which is September 10th. 10th. So this is a month, month. away. This car is just going to sit here. So what's the hurry would be the question somebody would ask, right? <laughs> Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude. <laughs> you know what's funny? <sighs> So listen, everything. This is hilarious. Well, was now, that damaged? So let, yeah, yeah where'd, where'd, Carlos. Where'd that come from? I like how this is okay, like so something they ask me. <laughs> let's back this up for a second. Yeah, let's back up why these cars are here. I'm, I'm honestly in a position where I'm just like, <laughs> I had a whole video, dude, in my head about what we were doing today for like, and this is not it. This is no clickbait, not bullshit. Uh, these are the wrong cars that are supposed to be in Canada. We, yeah. Anyhow, I, so what cars? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna explain. No so look, here. yeah. Since we don't have the right cars, I'm not, I'm not gonna drag this out for these guys anymore. We sold the 550. Yeah, the 550. The Ferrari 550. Not the 599. Five, not the 599. The 550, <laughs> which is also black and a Ferrari. Listen. <laughs> We sold the 550 and it's going to the Philippines. So someone we know reached out, wanted that car if we were ever gonna sell it. So all we had to do is make a phone call and they took it like that. They even sent you the money. Yep. A ton of fans in the Philippines. We wanna come to the Philippines. We wanna deliver the 550 to the new owner. And we wanna officially launch our international merch that we're gonna be doing. So you'll be able to get all the DD merch for the very first time. Yeah, the car driving clothing now, this is fun. Dude, you're 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 going to jail if I you drive this. this car no, I'm gonna right. drive this and be cool to start my subdivision in the morning. The key. Your fiance is going to abandon you. I guarantee it'll be no problem. I'll do cool start in the garage tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. and I'll film it. You live cool. in a complex. You're You're gonna gonna be great. You don't even know. You don't even you don't even know. Give Dave the keys. I'll film from now on. Give Dave the keys. I want to see your I want to see your face <laughs> yeah. when this car starts. And, and you have to make sure I, the door is open so that what nothing uh, catches you, fire. You, Dave, and I are going to sit down in a minute. Have let's a, have a little have talk. A conversation. Let's have a little talk. In the meantime, let's, let's start this. That, by the way, as much as I'd love to put the race car in my house, that is way too low. Can I leave that here yeah. for a month? I guess. Can you pay us for us to have it here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's look at this. How's yeah. that? Snap! How's that going? Do you, is the key in there? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, right. oh boy. Close, it's not that loud. Yeah. car and just check out the gate. How sick is that? Well, that's sweet. Like, I forgot I love the interior of this car. Yeah, there are two gated V12s here now. That's kind of fun. That is fun. The Bromance? Mine's nice and quiet. I'll be under oh, the radar. Is Tomorrow the morning. valves even open? It doesn't work. I don't have a hooked up to my I don't have it hooked up because I'm not. But I probably should hook it up. Yeah, for Dude, sure. Look at that. Look you at should that. get Brett to hook this up for you before you take this in. Nah. Listen, put, put the clutch in and let him give, give that a shift. Feel that. Clutch is in. Feel that. Oh, nice. Shift's so nice, too. Dude. How much is a real gated 599? Two and a half million. Yeah, I was going to say, over two million. US. Million with an M. This car right now, total <laughs> build costs about $210,000. No, not even, 200 grand. Wheel. Everything, wheel, suspension, manual conversion, all retail pricing. Yeah. This is what you get. It's sick. I was wondering what the beeping was. Carlos, what are you doing? Oh, 
on hook in the booster pack. The booster pack, is that how it started? Yeah, the booster pack? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, back it up. Once it's warm, we'll give it some rounds. They haven't heard it yet. That was like 2,000 RPM, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And man. we also have the donut pit in the back. <laughs> hey, the donut pit. Dude, this thing's so clean. And as much as I loved your little gold livery that was temporary, it looks cleaner all black, personally. Oh, I like it all black. It looks good all black. Dude, look at this thing. <laughs> I told you. What did I say? Oh, he's going to jail. DD doesn't oh, disappoint, does oh, it? Oh no, that is nuts. And these are the wheels off my F12. to send it right back into the trailer. You exhaust, I, that's crazy. But when I, when I said we need a 599, now you understand why, because yeah. the engine is essentially a, a front mounted, hit you. hey, it's a front mounted Enzo engine. That's Oh, everybody's loud. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. You got attention from Rev it, Dave. the planet. Everybody. Look at how f loud it is. The yeah, the neighbors. <laughs> Check out the manual We're conversion, like the too. What is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's a straight, that's what a straight piped Enzo engine sounds like. Is that hybrid? Like. <laughs> Daily driver in Kelowna. Yeah. yeah! Well, that's a good thing, but it's also a bigger problem. What do you think? Uh, that actually sounds really good. Loud, but really good. Wild, right? Yeah. Get in there, Mike. Feel the pa feel the power, Mike. Hit, hit, again. hit the flames. Do it again, Mike. You had flames. <laughs> We're gonna go get Smokies right now. We we're just saying, yeah. Move that and let's pull out. This is the one I want to see. I really want to see. You want to see this one? Everybody is outside now, just from the revving. That sounds so good. That sounds so good. Whoa. Everybody's out here, Everybody's like here. the whole neighborhood. All right. Well, now this isn't supposed to be here, but. Oh, all your trouble now, dude. I Take lemons and turn them into lemonade. Thanks, Carlos. Thanks, thanks for this. All the race cars in Kelowna. <laughs> Jesus. Fun little trick with a race car. There's no normal windows that go up and down. It's like this big. I was gonna say. And you can't open the doors in a trailer, so they just took the door off, which is right here. So easy access, which is nice. I don't have to do the Dave. <laughs> Do you like easy access, Mike? I do like the easy access. Perfect. Could you grab all the stuff we need for this car, like the wheel hub things and all that stuff? Yeah, do we have like, you brought the race car, do we have race car stuff to actually service it if it stays here? Guys, look at it. Or is that enough? You're going down to get the other two cars anyhow, it's all good. Okay. You can come back okay. with all the gear. As long as we can get started off the trailer. I'm going the funny there. news is, is look at this. There's my race. <laughs> my race shoes, and my helmet bag with my Hans device. Well, at least I have what I need to drive the car. What was, what happened? I swear, why is, why, is, why is there stuff here? I swear I didn't do this. This isn't supposed to be here for like another three, four weeks. It's a month away before we can ever drive this car here. No, it's the use of There's only one here. racetrack, Area 27, that, that's even gonna work for this. This car won't fit in your now shop? No, we can't, no. At home? I can't get up the driveway. Oh, really? If it was up top, yes. Oh, that's too bad. But I can't get in the driveway. Let's uh, go through the sequence of trying to fire this thing up. First of all, power. Got that going. That's a good. Then sign. we're gonna want uh, ECU. Woo! That's a good sign. Yep. We got the Lamborghini logo up here on the screen. Yep. Let's wait. There we go. It's in neutral. That's always a bonus. Ignition. All right. You ready, Carlos? 
Let's dance. What's that mean? Engine wrong? I just said engine wrong. Yeah, I don't know. Ready? It's better to push it. It'll be, it'll be easier if we just push it. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's go. Tear the whole thing off. You don't want to know what it costs to break something on this car. Stop, stop. All the stress. All the stress. Oh, whoa. It's very low. The rear diffuser is all carbon. It's about an inch and a half. Right in the back. Lamborghini, built by Lamborghini for the race series. Are we gonna make it? Oh, baby! You're good. <laughs> Dude, that carbon in the sun is crazy. Look at the weave. That's probably my favorite weave. That big, thick, gnarly race car, not perfect, but banged up. That's my jam. This is a lot easier to get in and out of without it is. Work, right? Too bad all the supercars. Oh, yeah. holy! You're doing good, Mike. Jesus. Very graceful. Like a gazelle. Ooh. Front rear. When you go for a drive with Mike Essen in this car, it's actually scary. I am not going for a drive. With and Mike I, I done it. No, you'll go with Damon at the track. No. Why not? It's a race car. It's protected. Hell no. It scares me. It's terrifying to sit in the driver's seat of this car. Like it, like what you could see your visibility out. This thing looks is terrible. So there's a door. Ryan, get over here, quick, Dave. Get over here. Get over here. Get on this side. Get on this side. <laughs> the, the, the technique that you have. First of all, you know the steering wheel of a race car oh, comes, comes off. off right? I know. I, I knew I could get out of. Can get back in for a second so I can film this. Can get back. In, just get back in for a second. Yeah, Dave. Dave's not recording no, right now. I wasn't recording. I can barely, get back in. What are you doing? Like a gazelle. Like a gazelle. My wife's a gazelle. You are not a gazelle. Okay, get in the car, bring it in the shop. Go, maybe. Uh, what do you think? It's cool. Because it's nothing like any street huracan, right? That's a race car, Mike. You've seen race cars. No, before. I know, but this is handy. You've owned a race shit car. Shit out of windshield with this on there. You can't see what? Damon drives with his instinct, not his vision. <laughs> I wish. Taps the wall, that's the where the wall is. Drive? Fun fact, I've only driven this car three times. Okay, drive into the show. So, so listen. 
I hope you guys aren't mad. <laughs> the 550 is gone. Another car is gone. Do we tell them about the second car? Or do we wait till Carlos brings it? If he can figure out which car to grab. Oh my God. Even this little area is gonna be tricky. Th Throttle's your friend, Damon. Throttle's my friend. <laughs> this is a closed course private lot. <laughs> I saw that jump. <laughs> a clutch pedal. Oh, it does not. It does. Really? You didn't notice? What? Show them. For what? He doesn't believe there's a clutch pedal. Why does it have a clutch pedal? Because it's got a sequential gearbox. It's not a DCT. So you can pop a clutch. Oh, did that scare you when I did that? Yeah. It's sort of loud, I was, right? I was on the phone not paying attention. It's better, better to turn the car with the throttle than turn it with the wheel. Right, Carlos? Carlos, you want to grab especially your Especially if you get the wrong, especially that. if you get the wrong cars. He wants to take this car and put it on the turntable. Might as well. It's going to sit here for a month. All right. That's going to be interesting. Can yeah. we get your wood? We need yeah. to use your wood. What do you want? What do you want? You want to use what? Get that out of here. Okay, nothing. Right now? What's this? These are your taxes you just paid to get this car into Canada. That's uh, why my wife paid 33000 <laughs> She goes. Exactly. She goes to me. Now it all makes sense. Yeah, yeah. She goes, you know, transporting your cars into Canada that you just sold costs $33,000. I was like, yeah. why do they cost thirty three grand? Yeah. And she's like, duties. And I thought, oh, we were paying for the modifications we would have disclosed, right? Because if we do mods in the States, you always we disclose you, that yeah. and we pay when we come over the border. Duties, yeah. But I was like, thirty three grand seems like a lot. Yeah. So we paid the taxes that have not yet been paid on the race car. To import so, it. So for to you, import it. Yeah, so for you guys, you're not used thanks to buying that. cars in the U.S. Hey, thanks for that, considering I have lots of money in the bank right now. <laughs> yeah, sorry kids, no food tonight. Yeah, yeah, nobody's gonna eat tonight, but hey, there's a thousand ways to do potatoes. 33 grand to import this car. Yeah. Really? Duty. Yeah, because you paid Are you duties. giving that, is that a receipt for me? Well, this is this is the stamp that you need, like that's you oh, that's cleared from the U.S. That's yeah. cleared, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what yeah. you get for 30 grand. <laughs> What a deal. <laughs> Carlos has been hanging out with Dave too long. Now he's got the jokes. Yeah. Welcome to Canada. See, and a bottle of lube. Yeah. Got it up, and it's there. We got it. Dave lost his wallet, but it's there. This thing rips. You don't really trust those wheel chocks that you roll back from the G-Force. Rolls it off into the 765. Look, he's kicking them tighter. I had no idea this thing spun this quickly. All right, Michael. Reverse. Reverse. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Canadian. So for 130 to 140 USD, they're a lot cheaper in Canada than the US because of EAG, because these guys make everybody want one. But Canadians don't know that yet. So buy one from Mike and then have EAG do a manual conversion. And it is the most fun I've had driving a car in years. And it has to go fast. You just drive normal. <laughs> we look like two assholes. <laughs> no. That is you so do. no, no, oh, you're driving. Drive. You're driving. No, I'm driving normal, dude. That is so loud. Like, oh my god. If you want to be sensible, this car with a mild exhaust and this shifter, like for a Kelowna car, it's a great cruising car. Great cruising. Not honestly, it's not a fast. It has like 650 horsepower. It doesn't feel like it. Probably because my flame tune. <laughs> it's probably the most inefficient way to make power. And I told Alex, I'm like, I don't care about numbers. I just care about... Pops and bangs and fire. Dancing. Yeah. 
That's you dancing? See, the one thing I love about when driving... When you can break the speed limit, it sounds so good and you get those shifts like, dude. The one thing I love about driving with Dave... He, he pulls through first and a bit of second, where Damon would go first, second, all of third, and then slam the brakes as we're about to hit someone. That's why I get... There's a reason behind that. Damon's built for jail. <laughs> Damon's built. I'm not. <laughs> I would be like, immediately be like, who's... Damn it, I screwed up! I need you, buddy! I need to know what your guys' opinion is. Should we try to do some sort of cool DDS bright colors, fun livery on the race car? I think we're missing some crazy wraps right now. I think people want to see some bright, crazy madness and not everything just being black. By the way, I promised you guys an update on the SVJ. So we've been working with uh, Lamborghini London to get the SVJ sorted out. They pulled out the six E-gear valves, which were not good, and they are not supposed to do this. <laughs> That's bad. He's playing with it. So they're they're losing they're losing pressure. My theory is: remember we went to Luxembourg and we went to the Lamborghini dealership, mm -hmm. and they said, "Hey, the E-gear pump, I can see it's turning on more frequently than it really should, and that's because it's trying to keep the pressure up so you can actually engage the gears." Right. My theory is the valves were done and was losing pressure through the valves, turning on the E-gear pump too frequently, thus overheating the E-gear pump and putting it into that weird mode where it kick it into neutral as a limp mode. Then when it would cool down it would be okay to drive for a little while. So I think replacing the valves is hopefully gonna solve the problem. Now, they contact me, said the valves are in. It took like a month to get these valves because they sent six of them and Lamborghini factory actually packaged in a box, not a valve, like some other random part. What? Yeah, and they, so they couldn't even put them in because they were short of valve. So we had to wait two more weeks for the single valve to show up. They put them in yesterday. They have test drove the car on the road and guess what? You know how much these valves are 8,200 pounds. Oh, that's like, that's like 12,000 USD. 12 for just in parts, not even installing them and all that and all the labor. That's a 30,000 dollar bill. Yeah, 30,000 dollar bill. SVJ is fixed. Oh, it's fixed. Nice. It is fixed. Really? Nice. Yeah, it's all good. Does that mean, does that mean we're going back to the UK? Should we come back to the UK, you guys? See the Swedish fish? <laughs> you haven't told them about the surprise yet, have you? I got a surprise for you guys. Anyhow, we'll go back, see the Swedish fish. I don't know why I say it without. Swedish fish. Fish. You, you know, know what a the, Swedish you fish is? Well, you mean the, the you eat eat shit, right? The gummy, yeah. You know okay, what, I didn't know what you're gummy? talking about. No, yeah. Well, you know about the gummy. It's not the gummy. So, good news. SVJ is fixed. It's awaiting our return in the UK. We should come back, do some more stuff in Europe, and then finally ship that car back to North America. Some people were actually saying we should put the SVJ up for sale what? and get the money out of it and do another crazy build. Now, I don't know. You guys need to comment. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a community post off this video. When this video goes live, there'll be a community post. So if you go under the community tab on our channel, there'll be a way to vote for what cars are left on the channel and which ones should we sell. Then I'll make a post of some random cars that potentially we could buy to replace it. The SVJ, in my opinion, is one of the craziest cars on the channel. One of the best sounding cars. But easily. How do you replace the SVJ? And if you do, what? What is it? You guys are in charge. You guys pay the bills. I have an awful update on the Revolto, actually. We'll save that for another video. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. Damn. Damn, I'm not dropping that bomb in this video. Yeah, too much bad news in one video.